Hello students, today we are going to continue exercise 8.4, remaining 4 parts we are going to do today. Let's start part 7th, part 7th is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta over 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tangent theta. We need to prove it. Okay, This left side we need to prove equal to right side. So, let us see how can we do it easily. I am taking left hand side. See sin theta and here I am having sin cube theta. So, sin theta can be taken out common out of this and we will get 1 minus 2 sin square theta and same way in denominator cos theta can be taken out common and we get 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now look at the values sin theta is in numerator and cos theta is in denominator. Sin theta upon cos theta I get tangent theta which is my answer. That means remaining two brackets should be cancelled, right? And to cancel them, both should be exactly same, only then I can cancel them. So, what I am planning to do, either convert this sin square into cos, because I am having cos in denominator, or what we can do, convert cos in the denominator into sin. So, anyway, you can do the changes. What I am going to do, I am going to change this sin square theta into cos using this formula. Which formula we have used? I am writing here sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. This formula we have used and in denominator we were having cos square theta minus 1. So, I am writing it as it is. Then tangent theta. Let me open the bracket 1 minus 2 into 1 2 then minus 2 and here it is minus. So, minus minus it will be positive 2 cos square theta and denominator is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Right? Let me do the next step. Tangent theta as it is 2 cos square theta is positive. I am writing it 2 cos square theta and 1 minus 2 it will give me minus 1 and check my denominator. Denominator is again 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now, these two terms can be cancelled and we get tangent theta which is my right side. So, I hope it is clear to all of you. Let us move to next part. Look at the statement on your screen. We need to prove sin a plus cosecant a square plus cos a plus secant a square to 7 plus tangent square a plus cot square a. So, this is my left side and this is my right side. My right side contain tangents and contangents. Let us see how can we prove it. Take left side. Whole squares are there. First of all, I am going to open the brackets using formula a plus b whole square. I will get a square, this one a square plus square of this becomes b square and then plus 2 a b. Right? So, a square plus b square plus 2 a b formula we have used and further in this bracket also same formula a square plus b square plus 2 a b. So, these are the formulas we have used. Now, let us see what we can do. This sin square a and cos square a. I know that addition of these two is 1. So, I am writing them together so that I can use the formula sin square a plus cos square a. I am writing it together. Then, this 2 sin cosecant a, I am writing this 2 times sin a cosecant can be written as 1 by sin a, right? Then this term 2 cos a secant a, I am writing 2 cos a 
and secant a is the reciprocal of cos a so i am writing 1 by cos a what are we left with i am left with cosecant a cosecant square a sorry it is cosecant square a so let me write cosecant square a and then secant square a okay now see this sin and sin cancel this cos and cos cancel sin square a plus cos square a is 1 this is only 2 we are left with again only 2 we are left with now 2 terms we are having cosecant and secant you know we have done the formulas 1 plus tangent square a is equal to secant square a and 1 plus cotangent square a is equal to cosecant square a so instead of cosecant square a what I am writing just check here instead of cosecant square a, I am using formula 1 plus cotangent square a then for secant square a I am using 1 plus tangent square a directly formulas can be used add all these 2 plus 2 4 4 and 3 ones are there so it becomes 7 plus then this tangent square a and then this cotangent square a it becomes my right side right so it's very easy question let's continue doing ninth part look at this statement on the board cosecant a minus sin a secant a minus cos a equals 1 by tangent a plus cotangent a so let's take left hand side this cosecant a i can write 1 by sin a minus then next sin a as it is and this secant a i can write 1 by cos cos a as it is right so what i can do next sin a lcm here and this sin a will be multiplied with sin a we will get sin square a then cos a is lcm we will get 1 minus cos square a right now we have done formula which formula i am writing here we had done sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 right this formula we had done 1 minus sin square a this sin square a goes to right side we will get cos square a so i am writing cos square a here upon sin a 1 minus cos square a when this cos square a goes to right side we get sin square a so i am writing sin square a instead of it and cos a what do we get see there is single sign two signs are there one can be cancelled and one cos here two cos are here one cos can also be cancelled and finally we will get sin a cos a so this is the answer of my left side now we are going to solve right side let's see right side is 1 by tangent a plus cotangent a right what can we do just a simple formula we know that tangent a can be written as sin a by cos a cotangent a can be written as cos a upon sin a right so this formula we are going to use sin a and cos a product of these two will be the lcm sin a multiplied with sin a we get sin square a cos a with cos a we get cos square a see this sin a cos a since it is in the denominator of denominator so it will go at top we will get sin a cos a upon in denominator we are having sin square a plus cos square a its formula is 1 so finally we get sin a cos a right so my left side answer was sin a cos a solving right side we get sin a cos a that's what we wanted to prove i hope it is clear to all let's move to last part of today 10th part look at the question 1 plus tangent square a upon 1 plus cot square a is equal to 1 minus tangent a upon 1 minus cotangent a whole square is equal to tangent square a that means in this question we need to prove this first term equal to tangent square a then second also equal to tangent square a that means if this is proved then all these are equal so let me start with this one first 1 plus tangent square a 
over 1 plus cotangent square a. We are going to start from here. We have done this formula 1 plus tangent square a is equal to secant square a, right? 1 plus cotangent square a is equal to cosecant square a. Now, this secant is reciprocal of cos, right? So, secant square a I can write as 1 by cos square a upon cosecant square a I can write as 1 by sin square a. So, secant square I have written 1 by cos square a, cosecant square a I have written 1 by sin square a. What next step will come? This sin square a will move at top. This cos square a will remain in denominator. So, sin by cos is tangent. So, it is proved tangent square a, right? So, 1 plus tangent square a upon 1 plus cotangent square a, we have proved it equal to tangent square a. Now, let us start with this part, 1 minus tangent a. So, uh, but how I am going to start? 1 minus tangent a, I am keeping it as it is, but 1 minus this cotangent a, I am going to write it as 1 by tangent a. Then since whole square is there, we need to put whole square. Next, 1 minus tangent a upon this tangent a is LCM. Tangent a multiplied with 1, we get tangent a minus 1. So, this is what the LCM becomes. Then, see this tangent a will move to top in the numerator and 1 minus tangent a can be written as it is. Check the denominator, it is tangent a minus 1. I am going to take minus common out of it to convert it into 1 minus tangent a, right? So, this 1 minus tangent a and 1 minus tangent a cancelled. We get this minus sign and tangent a of numerator, its square. If we do the square, minus sign will become positive and we will get tangent square a. So, this part we had proved equal to tangent square a, this part we had proved e equal to tangent square a, then finally, you can write like this from first and second, then write the given statement again that this is proved. I hope all the parts we have covered today you are clear with. So, today it was the last question of chapter trigonometry we are done with and very soon we are going to start next chapter.